Welcome City Skylines players and fans back to Capital City. I'm Goma with Goma Games. Alright, the last video we uh, did a redesign of the Luxor here and added this uh, mall complex in front and uh, we also worked on uh, uh, we added a, a theater over here to the side and did a little decorating um, and then we also started on working on the uh, MGM here did a little detailing on that so we're going to continue this is part two of this area hoping to get quite a bit done this time through and uh, get most of this area taken care of so let's go ahead and uh, uh, drop this resolution back down to 100% and uh, let's go ahead and get started here uh, didn't do much off camera um, I think we uh, just filled in a couple spots here uh, corrected this parking lot over here um, we did put a small obelisk in here just as a little bit of a decoration there just to uh, kind of fill in the fill in the gap um, I think that's about it uh, Maybe added some green space over here. I can't really remember. Uh, probably just added a little bit of green space. Uh, did add a couple doors to the um, yeah, uh, MGM over here. And uh, added uh, some doors to the front of the building here. And uh, added, uh, obviously, a couple doors over to the side here to go into uh, what will be the uh, the parking lot area and everything so let's go ahead and get started with uh, some additional builds here uh, now I've got um, an idea here for the back and uh, let's go ahead and get started on that I wanted to add a little bit more to the MGM and um, so let's see uh, Let's grab uh, another road. I mainly just need that uh, parallel to the side of the building there. And then I've got another building here that we're going to merge or mesh with the MGM. Let's see if we can locate that here. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, it is the uh, the World Service Office, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't say in the description whether it's based off a real building or not. It's kind of a specific name, World Service Office, so it makes me think that maybe it's uh, it's based off of a real building somewhere. Um, but I like this building. It it matches kind of the shape of the MGM. It's kind of a um, I think it looks kind of good there, so uh, uh, it, it, it works quite nicely. So we're going to put this here, in here, get two of these. But I'm actually looking for, they, they uh, when you plop them down, they plop them in different shades. And what I'm trying to do is look for, get a specific shade. And that's the shade I want right there. The last one. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, that'd have been too uh, too good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab this. Uh, we'll go into repaint. And uh, copy. Go into this. Go into repaint. Paste. 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 All right. So now we have um, four of these buildings identical. Uh, pretty close to the MGM. And I uh, haven't been able to get the uh, MGM building uh, color to transfer to these uh, precisely. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like this. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab building, the 
these buildings would move it. And I'm going to put these right on the back of the building here. Right where that meshes. Right there. That should be far enough away. It is not. Uh, actually, that looks fine. I think that's. I think that's fine. Uh, and now we're going to do the uh, put these two on the other side, on the exact opposite. That looks uh, very nice. Uh, obviously, once we get the landscaping and everything done, but I think that looks very nice there. And I think those buildings fit quite nicely with the MGM, um, even though it's kind of a, a curved angle. Um, I think they, they do look uh, quite nice on there. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's. Up the resolution a little bit so you can see. Yeah. See, I think they just uh, they fit. Color doesn't match exactly, but like I said, I had some issue with issues getting the color to match. But you have buildings that have uh, additions and add-ons that aren't exactly the same color. Um, so that's that's happened before. That's not not a uh, not a big deal there. And I am going to leave these casino building or the casino floor, of the arenas here. I am going to leave those white um, uh, or that gray texture. That is exactly how the real uh, casino is in Las Vegas. It has the uh, uh, towers and the four wings, and then it has the white entrance. Uh, and then a gray area on one side that is the uh, casino floor, and then it looked like more of a industrial uh, uh, shipping or shipping and receiving, or I should say receiving area over on the other side. Um, so we're going to leave that, leave those like that. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, um, we'll come back. We'll be detailing this whole area slowly as we move along. Uh, the next thing that I want to put in right here is the uh, unique buildings and the uh, landmarks. And I want to put in um, this theater. And I know we've got a theater over on the other side, but I think that just it just complements this area so well. And uh, these buildings could be used for different reasons, ballrooms. Uh, could be used for meetings and receptions and parties and and different things. So, and then the other one, this uh, the other one would be like a, an actual theater with uh, live plays and stuff. This would be more like a a ballroom or something that people would bring out for wedding receptions or weddings or or parties or that type of thing. Uh, so we're gonna put this in here and. Um, because I, I could use Bob to go in and remove the parking stalls in the back and remove the tiles. Not really going to do that. So I think the best option would be, even though it's kind of eliminating the um, uh, attractiveness or the entertainment, issue of this building or the, or the that factory of this building I think we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to try something here see 
copy. Yeah, see that that did not do anything. All right, that did not do anything. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn this into a PO. And that eliminates the tiles and the parking stalls, which is mainly what I was wanting to get rid of. And then we're going to line up uh, this door with this door over here on the mall. So they look straight across from each other. And then also we're going to move it over a little bit. So it kind of gives more room through here for a road and that type of stuff too. And then I'm thinking uh, getting rid of these trees here and just just a flat kind of like a plaza there. Um, get rid of that and just add that as a pedestrian road there. Um, I could do even bigger. I don't think that's really, no, I don't think that's really going to work. It's probably going to be much too large. Yeah, that's much too large for that area. So, just stick with that. That works. And then we'll go ahead and grab... Um, Trying to decide if we're going to put grass around there, or whether we're just going to use um, make it concrete around. But I think we're going to go ahead and put in some grass props. Grab the building, pour it over to the side just a little bit, and then obviously we need. Uh, let's go ahead and eliminate this one for now. Swing over to the other side here. Excellent. And then go in with uh, surface painter and paint the whole area here. So whatever's left over is going to be a concrete texture. And then obviously we'll put grass in on the other side when we get the other road in. <laughs> See how that's going to pan out there. Okay, so what I'm thinking uh, for the center area here, um, I think we're going to need some parking. Um, so we could either do another parking lot, uh, which I don't think would be enough. So I think we're just going to put in couple parking garages here. Uh, I don't know which ones to uh, to do here, so let's, um, let's see. Go ahead and we'll do I think we'll do these 
And these are the uh, University, I think, yeah, University City parking garage. And they work uh, quite nicely. And bring a road in there, and then we have two roads coming in on both sides here. Um, so I think that would work. And then we'll do some uh, landscaping and everything around there. So I think that looks good there. So I think that would be an excellent view off the top of that parking garage overlooking the mall. And uh, seeing the Alexa or two there, I think that would be great. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll grab the uh, plain textured road. Pull that in. Uh, see, I'm thinking. Um, And temporarily, so we can put a node in there. And we're going to pull this all the way through. Out the other side. And then uh, we have this one here. To the center there. And this one. Uh, just bring this in and adjust it. Uh, just like that. So we'll bring that in and then. Adjust that over, grab this road, and swing it so it doesn't look there. I think that looks uh, that looks good there. This one's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And then uh, obviously we have these two front ones here. This one lined up than the other. There we go. upgrade this road just like that so that's perfect okay and then it's just a matter of putting in the uh, landscaping and I'm not sure if we're gonna leave these roads connected I think that makes kind of makes sense because those entrances are there I guess we could cover those with trees if we really wanted to take these out and even though there's entrances there I think we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, parks in here for, uh, landscaping grass And then I 
We'll go ahead and grab this, pull this over. That blocks that. And then I think what we'll do is maybe pull these apart a little bit. those pillars are right on the sidewalk and then uh, we will actually pull these two apart and then we'll just put in concrete texture Obviously, we're going to do some landscaping up front here, or in the back, however you want to say that, but we'll put that in there, like that, and then we'll get rid of, use that node for a road, coming into here later, but right now we don't need it. So I think that looks good. Um, yeah, I kind of wish we didn't have entrances on that side. Uh, but we can always take uh, some trees and kind of cover that up. I really don't want to cover it up too much though. Uh, grab these. So areas like these, they really don't uh, a lot of trees in just because uh, enough for uh, to make it look nice and a little bit of wind break, a little bit of noise break. Um, they don't put a lot of trees in because it, it blocks views and could cause problems as far as uh, criminal elements, uh, that type of thing. Uh, yeah, I think we'll put that in like that. That kind of it makes it a little bit less obvious that there's gaps in the uh, parking garage there. Um, so we'll leave that like that. Uh, let's see. Fill that in. And then uh, maybe one last uh, detail here. Uh, let's see, go down here. And kind of block. Hmm, I guess it's because they're so close to the building. Put another one in here and then grab it and move it. Right like that. So then we will grab these are props. Interesting. I don't know why that's not picking that up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that looks good there. Provides a little bit of, uh, I think that's three stories of parking. 
provides a little bit of parking there. All right, so let's move on to uh, this road here. Grab the standard two-lane road. Come in off of this road. Come in straight over. Here and then come over. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why we'd want to do it that way. Um, So we can kind of curve these roads around and make it a little bit more appealing to do that. And then maybe grab another pedestrian road. automatically put in crosswalks which is what we need because there are doors at the base of these at the base of these towers here and then um, there's actually supposed to be another door right here on this uh, diagonal corner which we will put that in and then obviously uh, there's stairwells here so there's got to be doors or something here um, so I'm thinking we'll do like a loading area or something here. Uh, so we will throw it in. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so as long as those are within two tiles, we're fine. Uh, and then uh, we'll do uh, put those in like that so that covers that entire area there and then we probably just want to concrete this entire area put in some curbs later um, but we'll just concrete this entire area all right and then uh, thinking maybe uh, we can do additional Spaces right here. Oh. Um, so we'll put another one there, and then I already doubled one here by mistake. I 
wasn't able to grab that one, so we'll just use two of them out of here. There we go. And uh, that works. So with there, we've got some additional green spaces, and then we'll go in here and, and go along the back here. Maybe put in some additional doors. Uh, I don't know if we'd need like a loading dock or anything back here. No, no, I think we'll just put, uh, I think we'll just go ahead and put in these grass props all the way across here. Not even sure if we really need the war. We'll probably put doors in because I'm sure you'd need fire doors there. Um, emergency escape doors, that type of thing. Uh, but those wouldn't have to have sidewalks or anything like that. Just doors for people to get out in case of an emergency. Um, that works. And I think we'll leave... Um, Try to decide how much of this area we want to leave as a plaza. And then uh, maybe do... Do that, and then grab, we can get a hold of it. So, what can we do here? How are we going to do this? Well, we will put it right here then. And we'll move it right there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and grab a single and do the exact same thing. And that's going to be too far away, isn't it? Yes. So that's not going to work. So we'll grab... Um, oh, I should have just done that to begin with. Yeah, pull that over there. There we go. So that's nice. Um, and then I guess we'll just leave. We'll leave that area there. And then I'll grab a door prop and we'll put it over in. Uh, it was this one. Yeah. Put a door in just like we did on the back side or the on the far side of this. And then obviously we'll go through and put uh, some benches in, uh, maybe a couple trash cans, uh, stuff like that there on the uh, on the side there. Um, let's see. It's kind of an unusual shaped road, but I think I kind of like it. Um, Yeah, I think I kind of like it like that. I'll leave it like that for now. Um, so I think pretty much this side is done, except for maybe some uh, landscaping. Uh, so a very mild landscaping. Uh, I don't think we're going to do a lot over here. Maybe we'll put some uh, more cultivated grass. Yeah, 
used to. I think we're gonna leave all that uh, kind of open um, for people to walk in. Maybe we'll do. Uh here we'll do uh, not that uh, we want yeah this one that might be a little bit too much for that area so maybe we'll put one here and one here for that smaller ones which don't have they're it's not they're not as nicely textured as this one but I think it's I think they're just as nice um, especially from uh, further further out so maybe we'll just put that in there and then maybe do Another one, and maybe we'll do a different color over here. And then uh, we'll grab some here's what I'm looking for. Yeah, where are they at? Uh, some bushes. Another one in there, and then another one in there. There we go. Uh, I think that looks uh, quite nice. And then obviously we'll uh, add some trees in here in the mall. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and add these. Uh, what are these? Coconut, coconut trees. We'll just add uh, a couple co coconut trees around. do it but do want to add a little bit of a little bit of additional greenery in here uh, even though this area is pretty green
Yeah, I may go back to and erase a couple of those because uh, that might be a little bit much. Um, but it does look very, uh, very nice. I think it complements the area uh, quite nicely. Um, and then we do need, while we're doing this, we do need to change that. There we go. Okay. Very nice. So now the only section uh, that really needs to get done here is this wedge here. And I've got a building that I want to put in there um, that I'm actually just going to use a portion of the building because uh, I really don't like the entryway of the building so we're just going to use a portion of it. So this road here um, comes back and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just have it connect to the road here. And then this one here, uh, there's going to be another building over here. So we're going to connect that. So what I'm thinking is... Um, well, let's get these... Let's get this grass in first. Um... See if we can collect these without getting the building itself. Maybe not. Oh, kind of helps to have, have uh, building on. Mm, that doesn't help. Okay. So we're going to have to leave that like that for now. And then we'll have to bring a building down this or a road down this direction. That's okay because we're going to put some parking in here, some additional parking. Because with all these uh, hotel rooms and the casino and everything, we're going to need uh, a lot more parking in here. So I'm thinking um, what we're going to do right here is we're going to put a small parking garage in. And I uh, downloaded this one off of the uh, workshop. And I like the look of it. Um, so we'll pop that in there. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about it is the way the entry ramp is set up. Um, I love the fact that there's a toll roof in there. Uh, that's great. It's just the, this ramp here, in order to make it look like it uh, is connected to the road, you have to have it right on top of the road. Um, it looks like it kind of disforms the oops, under the sidewalk and pushes the sidewalk up. It's not really what it's doing, but that's what it looks like it's doing. Um, if not, it kind of looks like uh, you have to drive up on the sidewalk in order to get into the building itself. Um, and then there is one on the back side here, which is fine. what I was wanting to do is 
I think I want to put surface parking back here. Uh, probably for like employee parking. It's probably what this would be here. So I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll have down here. Yeah, I'll just have it connect to this node here. Makes sense. And then just for aesthetics, uh, this row here. Actually, what we could do is. Road and see what this will do. We push this back just a little bit, and then we bring it in straight through this. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks nice. That looks fine. A um, little bit of a walkway there. Not sure we can get a road. Because if you put in, uh, yeah, you enter the parking and everything here, and no parking uh, along here, that's the only part that's actually in the uh, stairwell. So, Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting in the uh, grass texture and the uh, parking lot stalls, and we all set here. So grab the wrong thing here. I need the uh, I need these. these all the way back to there. Okay, maybe a little bit further to there. Alright, and then we'll just put in some additional there. We've got the space for the roads. Or, excuse me, the doors there. And then let's go ahead and put in some parking stalls. We could do another parking garage over here. No, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to go ahead and just do brown surface surface parking. So what do we have here? Six.
this is five. Did it again, okay. That one in there. So that looks, uh, yeah, that looks really good. Um, don't know if I really like this, like this. With these being open on this side, but closed on this side. Um, I don't know, what to give that some thought. And then uh, let's grab uh, some additional parking here. So I think that uh, I think that works, and then that gives enough room for say we have some deliveries or something. Uh, matter of fact, let's grab uh, couple props here. Maybe we'll put that, again, I'm not sure if these are windows or docks, but we're going to use them as docks. Seems like a lot of docks, but... And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got one of these little pup trailers. Yeah, they almost seem like they're down too far to be... to be docks. They will work for the straight shark, but they don't really work for this pup here. So I think that's I think that's really enough. It doesn't need to be too elaborate there. Um, once we get some cars in here, I think it'll look a little bit better. Um, maybe we'll add. Decent sized trees right here. There, I think that uh, that works. I don't think we really need. Well, I did put a couple over there, so I think we'll. Just leave that like that. And then, uh, I think that works for the MGM. Um, I think that uh, that works. Maybe some, uh, put some bushes out front. Uh, maybe these, some, of these, some of these smaller trees right here. 
because uh, you don't want to cover up too much. Is that 18? Let's actually cut that in half to 9. Yeah, I think that works. Because you don't want it to be too... You don't want it to hide too much. Um, but on the same token, you want it to kind of cut things back just a little bit. Um, and also uh, have a little bit of green space in there too. So you want some trees and stuff around. So that's a, that's a little bit larger. Even yet, um, yeah, and then maybe. Yeah, super small. Put three of these in here. Yeah, just enough to offset that a little bit. It's a lot of green. Uh, it's a lot more green than what's in uh, Las Vegas, uh, but I, I, I kind of like it. I like it with the green green space in there and uh, yeah that looks uh, really nice there not sure about this road we may go in and correct this um, at a later time but that's kind of unless we want it at a complete straight angle straight over I think this is the way it's got to be because it's got to wedge over just a little bit because of the stairwell there you don't want it right on top of the stairwell so um, I think that's the way that's uh, Gotta be on that. Um, but I think that's a. Uh, I think we uh, made a lot of progress today. Um, I think that looks really nice. Um, we go ahead and up the uh, resolution a little bit, so we can get some a uh, couple of nice shots here. Um, yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, those trees block those uh, entryways quite nicely, so that that works good there. Hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, and uh, at the end of the uh, video here, Gomer should be popping up here very shortly in the center of the screen. Um, give him a click, uh, that'll get you subscribed. Hit that bell icon for new videos, and then uh, we'll... Uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks for your time. Again, this is Gomer with Gomer Games. Thank you.